a bunch of things must have gone wrong if you listen into this. I call this the thousand dollar knife block. Made of expensive wood, made with Purple Heart, Wange, and Paduke on the bottom here. It's got some fancy joinery in the corners, which I came up with on the fly. And it's taken forever to make, but it's not done yet. You know, I wanted to make just a gorgeous statement piece knife block for the kitchen. A year later, I still haven't finished it. I've tried bamboo skewers. You can see in there, hopefully, that there is remnants of foam. My initial thought, I made a form to fit in the bottom and I was gonna put epoxy in it and put the bamboo skewers in there and do it that way. That didn't work out. So then I got a thousand bamboo chopsticks and I tried that. Those work a lot better. I, I don't wanna do a knife insert. I really don't because I don't wanna have static places for knives. I wanna be able to put any style of knife in there from a giant chopping knife to small paring knives. I want to put all of them in there. The skewers and the chopsticks method seem like the best way to go about this, but I just can't get it to work. I'm not sure what to do. So please, watch this build video. Let me know what you think. I'll show the parts that we struggled with on this thing, but it just sits here in the workshop collecting dust. It's at a 45. I'm probably gonna need to put some support in here. Right in here, that's where the weight's gonna be. So it's gonna pull this down. So I might have to put a support here. That's not what I care about. I can figure that out later. But what do I do? What do you suggest? How do I go about this? Thoughts, questions, comments, ridicule, anything? Help me finish this. Help me make my dream come true. Thank you. Take a couple minutes to talk about the planer here. I love this thing. It planes thing to a thickness, right? But you see, we have a love-hate relationship. When I first got her, I put a pallet board through her to see what she could do. There was a nail in there. Well, and I screwed up the blade. Yay, first try. And I always do this. I can I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but this is burnt to hell. This is from like 38 passes ago, and I'm trying to fix this still. And I just, I, I hate, I suck at this thing. So bear with me as I turn these into matchsticks. Thank you. Like, there should be laws against me doing this, but somehow there isn't. You knew this? Not even sure if I knew this, but Purple Heart stinks when you cut it. Gorgeous though. Ooh. I'm gonna cut this into half, I think quarter inch strips. Three quarter inch strips. That's what we're doing. But I think instead of doing on the corner so there's a fat end, although that could look kind of cool, I think I might do half laps on the outside here and go in about a quarter of a net, about a half of this on either side. So we have a purple edge that sticks out. All right, let's give it a shot, huh? You only ruin your purple heart once, right?
let's see where we're at here. See, I knew that I wanted Wenge for the sides of the knife block. And I knew that I wanted Purple Heart somehow on the edges. But I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I ended up going with half lap joints. So that's what you saw me doing over there. So this is pretty freaking secure on there. That one's going to go on the bottom. Got a little nick from the table saw on there. You can see right there. So that one's going to go somewhere where you can't see it as much. Like on the bottom, facing down. Anyways, so this is how this is going. So look, I have this, then this is going to be over here. Uh-huh, yeah. You can see kind of what's going on. So, figure this is a box, right? So imagine four sides like this, okay? I'm gonna do a little round over on the edge and stuff like that, and then a bottom, and there's a little another piece of the nick out of it. That's gonna go also facing the bottom, so we don't see that. And then this is gonna sit at an angle like that. So once I get this box made, I'm gonna chop off the bottom. In theory, this might go terribly wrong. Expensive too. And then, you know, I got this thing that I did that to. But, you know, I got four usable sides. And it's gonna look sexy as hell. Oh yeah, look at that. That's just beautiful wood. The purple heart. So, I think what I'm gonna do is start some of the glue ups on this. I'm gonna get in here and just sand this down a little bit. Actually, that's pretty freaking smooth the way it is. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to start some of the glue ups on these. And then, next, I have this paduke, which I'm going to use for the base. So you're going to figure the knife block's going to sit like that on it. Got it? There's going to be like a flat bit that it sits on. And it's going to have possibly, not 100% certain on this, might be a like riser in the front. So it actually supports us, although, so it sits kind of like that. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know yet. I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. We're, get, we're gonna get there. Um, I, we'll see what happens. I, I don't know, shit. Like I know what I'm doing. <laughs>
So in a flat spot up to basically here. <clears throat> And then, I'm going to have a block come up probably to about here. So first things first, I'm going to cut two of these side by side, and then we're going to go up. This is how we glue it. What is up with my phone? Basically, a failure. Any results a result, that's for sure. Well, it, it, I don't think it was gonna work. Basically, I tried building up a form inside there that I was going to then line with tuck tape, which is taping for sheathing for the outside of the home, like Tyvek stuff. And then I was going to line that and then put some epoxy in there and then get these in there and, you know, then try to have it set, but that also really didn't. All right, so the plan is this. We have that foam glued down there in the, the bottom. We're going to take rows of these, dip them into epoxy, Stick them in there, let them set, then do another row, then do another row, then do another row, so that they'll be stuck in there where they want to be, and they won't move around. So, let's try. could go wrong. I'm also thinking Yeah, I'm not thinking. It's not working. I mean, I'm thinking, but it's not working. Hmm. We definitely don't want to put it in the miter saw. That would be a recipe for frayed and shattered. Every, it, every, it's just going to Alright, that's not 
No bueno. Nope. Yeah, I'm totally polishing the dip of that. <laughs> So that's where we're at. If you made it this far, please leave your comments below. How should I finish this thing up? The skewers didn't work. The bamboo chopsticks didn't work. Again, have an issue with them staying in there and cutting them off and how should I, meh. Thoughts, questions, comments? I mean, once I get them in there, how do I then cut them? Once they're in there, like, uh, they, they sit below down over here and then they come up, over, like, I don't know. I need, I need help. Please send help. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell um, if you want to help me try and figure out more shit that I can't figure out myself. Thanks, guys. Cheers.